Hey guys, I'm uh, just going on a little ruck march this afternoon. Um, I'm here in South Texas. Um, you probably noticed that already by all the mesquite trees that you see around. Um, I am starting a YouTube channel mainly because I want to learn a lot more about survival and bushcraft and all kinds of stuff like that and i feel that this is a really good way to learn how to do stuff like that okay so i don't have much right at this point but um you know i'm really trying to watch the snakes right now uh we've killed what's it i think 30 30-something rattlesnakes this year, around 35, I think. I think, yeah, I think 35 rattlesnakes since January of this year. And um, just really trying to watch for them because um, most of the ones that we've killed are, like, less than three and a half feet. Okay. Um, every now and then we'll kill, like, a bigger one. I mean, like, five feet, pretty big. But um, other than that, you know... You don't really ever see any other kinds of snakes. Um, what in the heck is this? Also, I'm like 40 miles away from the border, so it can be quite dangerous camping out here. Um, there are a lot of illegals, illegal aliens that come out uh, from the border from Mexico. So, really don't know what this is. What in the heck is this? I think that's just a thing of soil. Someone just put a bag of soil out here, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I apologize if you can hear dogs barking in the background. I'm about a mile away from my house. Or less than a mile. I'm about a half a half mile to three quarters of a mile away from my house. And they like to go crazy. So, yeah, um... Back to what I was talking about, uh, starting a YouTube channel. Um, I feel that this is a really good way to learn a lot about what I want to learn about bushcraft and survival. And um, how to sustain myself um, if I ever needed to uh, live out here uh, in the middle of the 6,000 acres um, if it came to that. Um, right here, I'm just in our little house pasture, um, mainly because it's... Uh, too late to go really out too far because it's school night for me um, But You know it is what it is. I'm, I'm still getting a sense of nature out here. I mean look look at how good this is This is something I'd like to go, you know, staying a night in and um, You know a night or two a couple days out here um, But yeah, I can, I can get myself a bedroll um, My pack right now We'll talk about my pack in a minute. Hang on. Okay, I think that means... Hang on, a second. Wait. No. Well, I'm using my phone, and I'm not sure if you can pause it, because I have an iPhone. I used to have an Android, and whatever, you take videos, you can pause the video. Instead of stopping the video, you can pause the video and make it look like cuts. Uh... But there's this, on this, there's a stop button, and then there's this little round button. I don't know what it does. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Okay. Alright. So, we're getting into some good country right now. I'm seeing a lot of twisted acacia. Um, a lot of mesquite, too. There's tons of twisted acacia right here. I mean, tons of this stuff. This is some really nice country right in here. I like this. It's starting to get a little bit thicker, I've noticed, right here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come through here. I might have to circle around, but yeah. Back to my uh, uh, my, my bag. Um, I packed that, that I have right now. Uh, I don't have much in it. Uh, I've ordered a new pack. A more of a pack designed for 
bushcraft and survival and tactical use. Um, right now I'm just using like a school backpack from a few years ago. Um, closest thing I could find to, you know, a rucksack that had plenty of space in it. So, yeah, that is that. And I'm just looking for a good spot to show you guys that right now. Another thing, guys, um, if you have any advice for me in my adventure in learning bushcraft and survivalness, or I don't know what the word is for survival, but <laughs> um, tons of mosquitoes out here. Next time, I'm gonna have to bring some bug spray, definitely. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm thinking I can't stop for too long because of the mosquitoes, but um. Uh, let's see. Here looks like a good spot. Okay. Alright. Take this off. Alright. So I'm just going to set this right here. Alright. So this is my survival pack. Or bug out bag or whatever you want to call it. Um. I made sure I did put some fire starting things in there. Uh, I have some Germex on the side right here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And then I have a uh, piece of rope right here tied up in a daisy chain just in case I need, you know, just a small strand of rope. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Um, just in case I need a small strand of good thick rope okay also over here in this pocket i have two or three rolls of pear cord as well um in here i have i don't know if you can see that or not i keep multi-tool and along with another knife or two another multi-tool and then i have another um I, you guys can't see that. I really do apologize. I'm new to this camera stuff. I got this in New Mexico. Rio in New Mexico as my initial on it. My first name is Walker. Um, okay, yeah, and I also have another knife in there somewhere. In here, um, right there in this pocket, I have some cotton balls and alcohol wipes. For, like, lens wipes and stuff. And then in here, I have kind of a, uh, you know, like a, uh, something you would use, uh, for eating, or, uh, I have some coffee filters in here for straining water, if I need to, and then some foil in here, um, this would be in case, it's like a last resort for cooking, if I can't find anything else to cook on, I would use that foil right there, and right here, I love, this is my, probably my favorite thing, uh, out of the whole pack, is, don't worry, it's not gum, uh, <laughs> I found this gum pack, and it was like expired gum. So I threw all the gum out. Hopefully you guys can see that. I threw all the gum out. And I decided I'm going to make a fire kit out of it. Um, so I have a bunch of strike anywhere matches. And just in case I couldn't strike them anywhere. Um, I did tear off a piece of the uh, striking. Uh, I forgot what you call it. But it's a piece that you strike the match on on the box. And then I put a few cotton balls in there. So that's that. That can come in really handy uh, if I ever came down to that. Um, pretty soon I should be getting... Uh, I, I've heard that you can use cameras. Like old, uh, you know, little cameras that you have to take to Walmart and get the, the pictures taken out of them and printed. Um, but yeah, right here I have a carabiner right there. And I have another one in here along with some... This is uh, kind of like a little hunting bag too for me, I guess you could say. Um... I do a lot of uh, varmint calling, so I have some, uh, I believe that's Bob, that's Bobcat urine, and then I have a headlamp and another carabiner in there, and in here I just have uh, a couple uh, things of, uh, and here I just have a couple things of, uh, what you call it? Peanut butter crackers, and I have some uh, chicken in there too. Not like it's like a MRE kind of, and uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so and then I also have a jacket in there in case it gets cold. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this pack back 
on her back, and we're gonna find a place to start a fire. And uh, hopefully I can find one pretty quick because it's getting late. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and find a place to uh, set up a fire, and uh, this is my first video, so make sure you give it uh, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, guys. It would really help me. Um, so I can get more viewers, and the more viewers I have, the more I can learn from those viewers. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a fun ride, I hope. Um, <laughs> um, so, anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching, uh, if, you, if you are watching this video. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, I guess. Bye.